and I, mind you, I just found out I was pregnant, so I'm about five months pregnant. He's telling me that this girl is pregnant. So I was like, what the fuck? Bro, like, and I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm like more of like, like my mom's a nurse. Like one of my mom, my mom's a doctor, my dad's a lawyer type of girls. Like, <laughs> like, like, I ain't that type of girl. Even though I'm funny and I play too much, right? I'm not really with all the ghetto mess. Like, I'm just not with all that, right? I'm not even ghetto, because I'm a little ratchet. I don't want to say it like that, because, like, a uh, bitch love a ghetto person. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 everybody uh, uh, uh. welcome back to my page guys how you guys doing how you guys doing again my name is Quaya Tari please like my video and subscribe to my page so y'all can see and hit that bell so y'all can see what I have coming next because I be having stuff coming okay guys <laughs> it's like nah y'all subscribe to my page like my page do all that good stuff okay okay Okay. Story time, guys. I have a like crazy story to tell y'all. Woo! Are you guys ready? <laughs> Yo, it's it's like it is lit the fact that we don't look like look at my eyelashes, guys. Oh my god, y'all gonna be staring at the whole time. I be doing that. I'm like, oh my god, look at that bitch eyelashes. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Let me fix my eyelashes so no people won't clown me in the comments. It's like nah. Um, well, basically, my story time started starts with you. It's like nah. Um, well, basically, a couple years back, um, I had a boyfriend. I'm going to call him Derek. Nah, that's a corny ass name. I ain't messing with no Derek's. Nah, nah, nah. Um, I'm gonna call him Sean. I'm gonna call him just straight Sean, right? Um, so I met Sean uh, by my best friend's uh my best friend's boyfriend at the time. Um Sean was his brother, uh my best friend, which is a girl, her boyfriend's brother. And um and like I, he kept trying to talk to me or whatever, and I was like ignore him, blase blase. And then I finally, um, then I finally just was like, you know what? I'm gonna give him a try. So once I started talking to him, I seen that he was like mad cool and like funny as hell. That's one thing about me. I love 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 funny people. Like that's my thing. Like make one joke, you win. So. <laughs> Like nah. But my problem is that I love funny people because I like to play, I like to laugh, I like to enjoy myself. This eyebrow is freaking killing me. Oh my god. You see that eyebrow guys? This eyelash. It's killing me, guys. Um, but uh so in that relationship, well, it wasn't a relationship yet, right? So I met him and me and him kicked it. He was like super funny, super nice. I'm like, all right. I'm going to give him a try. Um, we started connecting, started chilling together, and we kept chilling together after that co consistently over and over again. So eventually we became like a little couple. Um, then I found out that he had a slight problem with drinking, right, guys? Slight problem with drinking. Big problem with drinking. It was crazy. Um but he can not drink for a really long time. But when he do drink, he drinks like obsessively, right? And he kept trying to hide it from me. But of course, sometimes I would see it by accident. Um, so he'll be like hiding it, getting drunk by himself with his family and then come back when he's sober, um, which is pretty much the same day. He kept trying to sober up really fast. Um, so he was like, uh, he was like more of a house person, house going guys so he can not drink for months at a time um so but when he did drink he just drunk way too much so that was annoying the freak out of me guys like 
I hated it. Like, I don't like drunk. I don't even like to drink myself. Like, I drink sometimes, but I'm not really a big drinker. So that kind of annoyed the crap out of me, right? Um, even though it happened every so often, it irked me, okay? Um, so basically, after a while, I was getting on my nerves. And me, this is like my first real, real boyfriend. Like, real boyfriend. Um, we're like... We was living together and um like it was like really legit like as far as me loving him he loving me like before that i had like little little crushes or whatever i had like a little high school thing that lasted for years and years and years and years but it was more like me and him was like best friends and we just loved each other as best friends and you know it really wasn't a real real relationship um so this was like my first real relationship right so, um, when he started to get, get, to get drunk, it was getting on my nerves. So I wanted to let him learn a lesson. So I, I kicked him out like, boy, no, no, no. You stop drinking. Then you can come back to me. You can talk, um, for, for a while. You, you got to stop drinking, period. That got to be, you know, out of you before you come back. So I gave him the ultimatum. Um, of course he did it again. So I kicked him out again. Um, and the next time I kicked him out, he decided to find another another girl. We're going to call her Sarah. We're going to call her Sarah. So Sarah um, started like kicking it with him. And um, Sarah, Sarah was mad annoying, guys. My cousin was Sarah's friend, like, uh, like from back in the day. And they were like Facebook friends and like social media friends, basically. So, um... This boy, Sean, he kept calling me over and over again to get me to talk to him, like to get me to love on him, to get me to take him back, right? Um, but I kept saying, no, I don't want to take him back. Um, he kept texting me and texting me and texting me and calling me and popping up in my house. And I kept saying, no, like, no, 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 I don't want to be with you. It's done, right? In the meantime, I'm throwing up every so often. Every so often, I'm throwing up and throwing up. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Um, about three weeks in, of like not answering him and um, of him running around with the girl too as well, um, I found out I was pregnant within them three little weeks. Um, so was he He kind of kept saying, like, I already knew you were pregnant and things like that. Whatever. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Um, but I found I was pregnant. So I'm like, damn, I just broke up with this guy. I think he was giving me this toxic ass relationship. And then I find out I'm pregnant. It was like, what the fuck? Like, how could you be pregnant once you get your ball, the balls to like shut you down and say, I don't want to be with you. Like, and mind you guys, this is my first baby. I, I never had a child, I've never been pregnant before, nothing. So like, I didn't know. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, how do you break up with somebody and then find out you're pregnant? It's like, what the fuck is going on? So, um, I went to the doctor. And when I went to the doctor, they told me that I was 16 weeks and three days pregnant. Yo, a bitch was four months pregnant. Okay? Four months pregnant. And I didn't know it. I kept having my period. Um, I kept... Everything, like, only thing that was different that I maybe should have pick, picked up on, every time I, like, drink a cooler or wine or something, I throw up immediately. Like, I never, I couldn't hold down liquor, but I just didn't understand it. Uh, mind you, I was coming to my period, so I wouldn't have thought pregnant, and I've never been pregnant before. Um, so, whatever, that happens, and he somehow finds out. Oh, as a matter of fact, I've seen him... Um, and then when I see him, I was like throwing up before I even, when I looked up, he was just there. Um, and then he, so he caught me in this midst of throwing up. So he says to me, um, well, uh, you're pregnant. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. So I took a pregnancy test, came out pregnant. Um, so that's how he kind of found out. Uh, well, went to the doctor anyway. So that's how he kind of found out. Um, so after that, he was still running around with Sarah, mind you guys. And he kept texting me over and over and calling me and popping up over and over again. It was like mad annoying. And my cousin that's friends with Sarah, 
called me one day and was like, yo, I wasn't thinking this girl was talking about you, but I think she keeps talking about you. Like, it's done it over with now. Like, this girl keeps talking about you on her page. Um, and it's for sure you because she gave me, like, this little status that she put up and it was directly directing towards me. And I'm like, I don't even know Sarah. Sarah can't be mad at me. Um, because I don't even know Sarah. And anyway, your Sarah's boyfriend keeps calling me and texting me every day. I just was like, what? How can Sarah be talking about me? And mind you, she was talking about things like I keep I keep being on her boyfriend, things like that. I'm like, how the fuck? Girl, he keeps calling me over and over and over and over again. So why are you putting that up there? Making a false narrative. Like that was like mad annoying. So, after that, child, um, they kept on like, hit me up. So, I decided to have a real party. Maybe like, well, he kept hitting me up, right? So, I decided to have a real party. Um, like a little small gathering. And, of course, I didn't invite him because he was getting on my nerves. Like, um, and... During my reveal party, Sarah texted me and said, uh, what you ha let me know what you having. You're going to go through me with the baby and you can't talk to him and this and that. And they're like coming at me like, I'm like, yo, Sarah, like I got a whole nother level I could tap into, Sarah. I think you should leave me alone, Sarah. Like, Sarah, like, don't mess with me, Sarah. I gave you a little minute, but... Sarah kept on doing a little small shit like this, like a little small shit like that. Send me pictures of her and him kissing. I'm like, yo, get it through your mind, Sarah, that your boyfriend calls me every day. Like literally every goddamn day. I'm fighting your, the person that you're mad at me about, I'm fighting him off every day. So I'm like, yo, Sarah, stop it. It's getting like dragged out for no reason. Um, So Sarah decides to text me during a real party. She like sent me all this bullshit, what you have, and then start sending me pictures of, of them kissing. Um, mind you, like just the night before, again, he texts me every day, all day. He's just obsessive, right? So I was like, okay, whatever, bitch. Um, and then like, all my family was here. So I was like, like, damn, like on my reveal party day? I'm like, not my reveal party day. So bitch. I was like, all right, you got that, my Sarah. You won. You won with that one. That one was good. She it inboxed me all this bullshit. I said, that one was good, Sarah. Okay. But not no one really. I don't all the way care about him like that. Because um, I didn't want to be with him. I, mean, I loved him, but I didn't want to be with him. So it wasn't that deep to me. Um, so I was like, okay, whatever, Sarah. Boom, 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 Sarah. I'm going to get you back, though, girl. I'm going to get you back. So I'm always stuck in my hand and get your ass back, right? Boom. Five weeks later, guys. About five weeks later, um, um, so about five weeks later, um, he like in my me saying like, oh, the girl's pregnant and, um, she's trying to blame it on me and this fucked up. She used to have a, she had a new ring lying and shit. I think she was already pregnant when I met her. Just texting me random stuff. It's not like I hit him up and asked the nigga. So he hit me up and said that. So I'm like, damn, okay, bro. And I, mind you, I just found out I was pregnant. So I'm about five months pregnant. He's telling me that this girl is pregnant. So I was like, what the fuck? Bro, like, and I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm like more of like, like my mom's a nurse. Like one of my mom, my mom's a doctor. My dad's a lawyer type of girls. Like, <laughs> like, like, I ain't that type of girl. Even though I'm funny and I play too much, right? I'm not really with all the... the Ghetto mess. Like, I'm just not with all that, right? I'm not even ghetto, because I'm a little ratchet. I don't want to say it like that, because, like, a bitch I love a ghetto bitch. But I would say that, like, I always try to have my mind on straight. I try. Like, put it like that. I try to keep my, have my mind on straight, right? And, like, be focused. So, like, for me to mess with somebody that has, like, two girls pregnant at one time, just, like, that was not my thing. Like, I was way too good for that. Like, way too good. And I knew that. Like, so I'm like, what the fuck is this? So, okay, I found out she was pregnant. Um, So, small things like him coming over. I was going live, videotaping the boy. Um, disrespectful. Because I was like, yo, bro, get the hell away from my house. Stop coming here then. So, 
mind you, I told Sarah I was going to get her back. I told her. So they wind up having a baby shower, right, y'all? They wind up having a baby shower. Um, and during that baby shower, <laughs> God, <laughs> boy, I told her I was going to get her back, though. Like, that's one thing I will say. If a bitch say, don't fuck with me, I'm not the one. Like, it's more than likely that you shouldn't fuck with that girl because she more than likely might not be the one to fuck with. Like, just leave people alone like that. Like, because they be having a whole other level they can tap into. Like, it be like, bitch, I would destroy everything. <laughs> but it's like, damn, I was trying to be peaceful and nice and everything. So, okay, baby shower comes up. Boom. Um, I'm hitting up my best friend, talking to my best friend. I love you, best friend. Um, she says, yo, bitch, you know I was one of the bitch paid and she having a baby shower coming up soon. I'm like, what, bitch? I said, we gotta do something. We gotta get this bitch back so bad. Um, so, okay, we decided to get the bitch back so bad. <laughs> Guys, the bitch was at her baby shower. Me, I'm like, I used to be a bill collector, so I can search a bitch fucking grandfather that died fucking 27 years ago, okay? Like, I'm a weird, like, bill collectors are a skip tracer. That's how they keep finding you guys because we have been programmed to be able to find anybody, right? So we can just find people. That's just how it is. Like, we can skip search any fucking body. Like, so I said, okay, okay, I got you. The baby shower coming up, I got you. Bitch. <sighs> During the baby shower, and this is from him. He wind up telling me right after it happened. He, he's just obsessed. Put it like that. Um, well, was obsessed. He's kind of chill now. Like me and him, like cool people now. So, um, I don't want to call him obsessed now. But he was annoying. He still likes me, but he's not obsessed. Um, so basically, um, basically, what happened after that was, <laughs> um. I, during the baby shower, they were having this their little event. Um, I let the baby shower play out. Like, say it started at 1. I let it play out. So, about 1, 2, 3 came around, bitch. The night before that, the night before the baby shower, he was outside of my house. Um, outside of my house screaming and da-da-da. So, he was just there before the baby shower. Um, so, what I decide to do... <laughs> And then, not only was he just there, he always be talking about this kid and talk about her and her other kid. Like, he always go ham on these motherfuckers. So, I'm like, yo, not my motherfuckers. I don't want to say that about the kids because they got nothing to do with it. But he always go ham. Like, I should never have the baby. You know, I can't believe I did that. You know, going off. Like, just going crazy. So, I said, okay, bitch. I'm going to play games, bitch. Because the boy be wild on me. Okay. So, bitch. You will not believe what the bitch did. <laughs> I sent the messages, all them little messages and voice fucking um, lives and shit to every fucking body at the baby shower except them. So just imagine, like, just imagine you having this perfect, this beautiful baby shower. Beautiful baby shower, right? Imagine this, guys. And the person that you're having baby shower with, y'all having fun, fun. The time of your life, the fucking time of your life. And then when it's almost time to go home, while everybody's like getting their stuff up, they're ready to go home. And the day was like, oh my God, congratulations, 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 congratulations. Boom. They've been hit with all these different messages and pictures and videos of him just right being outside the house the night before. Yo, this is what he told me. <laughs> he said it was like pitting the stuff, picking all the stuff up so they can start putting it to the car. He said everybody phone started going off. Everybody in the damn baby shower phone was going off, right, y'all? <laughs> Except theirs. So they had to find out what was going on from other fuckers, from other people. <laughs> so imagine that, bitch. You having a joy of your fucking life. Then everybody in your motherfucking baby shower, phone going off. Every fucking body at your baby shower, phone going off, right? 
and then some shit about you. I mean, some damaging shit. Some shit that's like not coming, you can't come back from. Like, you gotta be an idiot to take the person back after that. Yo. <laughs> I told that bitch don't play with me though. That's the thing about it. I said, Sir, I'm not the one, sir. But she kept playing, she kept poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear. So the bear was like, ah, bitch, no, not today, you won't. <laughs> and I got her good, guys. I fucked the bitch like up, okay? And like, it actually, like, she kept trying to get me back on some shit, but nothing was ever, nothing was ever, like, the same, because that wasn't my boyfriend, so you couldn't really get me back. Um, so that was your boyfriend, that was Sarah's boyfriend, so she can never, ever get me back. It's about, you know, about him, because whatever he did, that you, you go with him, you know? So, <laughs> um, Bobby was basically digging all in that, um... So basically, Sarah um, was sick as fuck. She had the fucking COVID. It's like, nah. But Sarah was sick as fuck, okay? Sick as a motherfucker. When I said, bitch, leave me alone before I come crazy at you, bitch. It's okay. So leave me alone. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, but I was a kid. So I'm not the same person because right now, I just tell the bitch, bye, like, for real. Um, and then... I sent everything to this, these parents, the grandma. I sent everything to the grandma, the uncle, the aunt, the mother, the mother's sister, the fucking kid, if I had, if I could. Bitch, I was around. I sent a group message, put them all, tagged them all, boom, here I go. He'll be texting me and shit like, oh, man, that was messed up, but it was funny as hell, and you're funny as shit. You know, see all this bullshit because he don't want to be mean to me. He never try to be mean to me. He always try to fucking just throw it out there like, oh, that wasn't nice, but it was funny as shit. <laughs> like, you know, he'll try to do some shit like that. Like, because he never try to be mean, right? Um, but, bitch, I let them have it, okay? And then we were fighting. I let them have it, okay? The baby shot was ruined, bitch. It was just massive. Like, it was horrible, guys. It was horrible. Like she wasn't prepared for that. Like, but that's that's the number one rule. That's what you guys should get out of this story is that when a person say like, leave me alone, bitch, I'm not the one to fuck with. Like, I think you should leave her alone. Like, that is not the one to fuck with. Like, you should leave it alone, especially if it's like, bro, nonchalant. Like, bitch, I'm not your enemy. You don't want me to be your enemy type of thing. Cause it's like, whoa. So just, just leave them people alone. Like, leave them people alone. Um, and you don't become them people either. Even if you, like I was, um, I'm trying to like back that all up and like not be out here arguing in these streets and da da da, da and whatever, whatever. Um, and it's more to this story because like we got to fighting and all types of shit, but this video already long as hell already. So, um, I kind of want to end it a little bit so I can, maybe I have a part two so y'all can listen. But it gets crazy, like, we fall, we, maybe I can find a video and put it up, but I don't know, that's probably, like, violence, like, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but I whooped her goddamn ass, to pull me, girl. Um, but, <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm just kidding, guys. But I did, but I did, but I did. She tried to say, like, oh, I fell, I fell, but you ain't fall, sure, sure. She kept on calling me out and shit like that, whatever, so. I want y'all to listen to the part two, so listen up. The shit gets crazy. It's like more and more and more and more on top of this story. On top of this story. I just want to tell y'all, like, my story times. Well, I'm going to do my story times because I have, like, yo, good thing we don't look like what we go through. That's the craziest thing. Good thing we don't look like what we go through because a bitch will be like, fuck. But I will say one thing, though. Let me just say one thing. I've never been a person that really gave a fuck about drama, pretty much, because, like, drama to me, like, I don't really care about, I guess, people's opinion, or, I'm not really a person that gets too depressed because I play too much. That's number one thing. Let's just start with that. Like, I play too much, and I always want to play. I always want to, not I'm a kid or nothing. I ain't no, I ain't no kid. I ain't no kid, though. I ain't no kid, though. But... <laughs> but I like to play though. Like I like to be happy. I like to enjoy myself. I like to smile all the time. That's just my thing. I you don't usually see me sad. 
um, I do cry a lot because I'm emotional, but I cry a lot because I'm emotional. But I cry over like movies and like gr um, grieving over like somebody I lost. I cry over like sentimental shit. Like I cry over successful stories and shit like that. And like, I don't ever really be sad. I'm really not a sad person at all. Like I haven't really been. You know, I, you know, this gets to a sad day. I do have sad days every now and then again, but I'm just not, well, I don't want to say sad day because I don't usually have sad days. I just more or less have, what would you say? What would you say? Um, Sad moments, I guess. Little sad, fast, sad moments. Like, they don't really last long because I'm just always trying to be upbeat. I'm always trying to laugh. I don't really like people being sad anyway. That's why I really made this channel too. To like help people that be depressed all the time and be sad all the time. Just to let them know like it's a better way to live. And it's really just a choice. Like it's a, just a choice to be happy or sad. Like you got to just skip all the sad shit and then be like, nah, 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 nah. Go listen to comedy. Laugh. Have fun with your life. And that's really what I want to like help you guys with like too as well. Like because a lot of times like. I see a lot of people that like go through stuff and they look like what they go through. Like that really is the truth. Like I don't want y'all to look like what y'all go through. I, I wish I could help you guys, everybody, if I could. But like by listening to my story, I hope that it will work out for you guys. Excuse me. <laughs> but <laughs> listening to my story, I hope it will work out for you guys. Like to just hear like my bull crap that I go through and then like it will help somebody out there to be able to like get through that bull crap because everything if you're not dying even if sometimes it's an exception to that but if you're not dead like you can change everything like you can change everything tomorrow's a different day you can start over um i don't know how i got here but <laughs> i want to let y'all you guys know like Tomorrow's a different day. Y'all can start over. Today's a different day. Y'all can start over. Whatever y'all did yesterday or day before that. Like it's just the past of you guys. So like build up. Keep on pushing. I got a lot of shit to tell y'all got you guys. So make sure y'all stay tuned to fucking freaking story time part two. Um, I'm gonna try to do story time at least twice a week so y'all can like get the grips of what's going on in my life. And I got some crazy, 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 crazy stories. So stay tuned. I'm going to put other videos, but I'm going to do the story time more often. Okay, guys? Um, Hit me up. Boom, 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 boom. Let me know how y'all like it with my fat arms. Let me know how y'all like it with my fat arms. Boom, 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 boom. That's another thing, too, guys. I gained so much weight, and I want to show y'all how to lose it. Um, Let me show y'all. Boom. Mm, mm, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Um, So... I've been just losing this weight. Like I, like I gained, I, I just had my second child and my second child like made me way like, I gained probably like 60 pounds. I weighed 211 pounds, y'all. Two fucking 111 fucking pounds after I delivered my goddamn baby. I was like, whoa, wait a minute, bitch. Wait a minute, bitch. I'm gonna try to find a picture so I can show y'all. If I find a picture, I'm gonna put it up here. If I don't, just, the picture ain't gonna be there, bitch. The picture ain't gonna fucking be there. But I'm gonna find a good one for y'all so y'all can see. If I do, here it is. Boom. So, stay tuned with me, guys. Subscribe to my page so y'all can hear more stuff I got to say. Um, Let me know what y'all want me to say because I can talk about whatever. Um, Subscribe. Push the bell. Like my video. Comment on my video. Mess with me like I mess with y'all. And... I'll see y'all again next time, guys. Bye.